What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to check out one of the feature that you need to know in Revit 2023. So this is about checking and fixing interference conditions. So in Revit, so there is this feature wherein you can check if there are some clashes in your model. So if you go to collaborate, here you can see the coordinate panel and then there's the one that I'm talking about. So if you click the drop down arrow, you can see here run interference check and then you can also see here show the last report of your interference checking or clash detection. Okay, so let's try this one out. So let's say there are some, uh, we want to check if there is some uh, nuisance or clashes in our model. So I'm going to select run interference check. And then here on the interference check dialog box, so there's side A and then there's side B. It's kind of uh, left versus right. Okay, so these are the current categories in your project. So you have case work, doors, floors, etc., etc. Okay, so if you're going to click the drop down arrow here, there is no other option. But if you are going to select, I'm going to close this one first. Let's say I'm going to select that one, that area. So I go back again to collaborate and then coordinate. Interference check. If I click this one, as you can see now, it says here current selection. Okay, so basically you can run your interference check or clash detection by selecting a certain part of the building. Okay, so if you click the drop down arrow, so you now have here the two options. Okay, so you have the current uh, project which uh, shows you all the categories in your project. And then the other one is the current selection. So you can select all of the objects here that you have selected. And then you can also uncheck it. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select a uh, current project. So I select current project. So current project. And then here on the selection on my side A, this is my side B. So here on side A, I'm going to select here all. So it will highlight all the categories. So I can click one box here to take all of the categories. Okay, so you can also select here invert. Okay, invert. Then you can also select here none. Okay, now so I selected all the categories here. So here on the right side, so let's say I want to check all of these clashes against my uh, casework. So I'm going to click casework. And then after that, I'm going to select here. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you check the interferences in your project. So I click this one. And then there you go. So there's your interference report uh, dialog box. So we're in. It shows you here the clashes on your casework. So for my casework, if I expand this one, so there is a clash here between these uh, base cabinet double door sink unit and then the single door and drawer so let's say you want to find where is this objects in your model so what you can do you can click one and then there's an option here show so you click show so it will zoom into that particular object so what i'm gonna do since i selected part of this model i'm going to close this one and then I'm going to click outside to deselect the object. Okay. So I do not want to select any objects. So going back again to my interference check. So as you can see, there's an option here, show last report. It will show you the last uh, clash uh, report. So for this one, so let's say this, I select. I want to see where's this one. So I'm going to select show. So it zoomed to that portion. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click again show and then select again here okay until it go to different view like for this one it shows the clashes or the clash or this case work in floor plan so if I click again show okay so it will show you in different uh, angles or different views 
Here, I'm going to change my visual style to fine. I'm going to change that to, let's say, wireframe. So as you can see, there's my uh, casework. Okay. So let us select again, show. Let's click that again. Our view here is shaded. So I'm going to change this to uh, wireframe view. So again, so that's the one. So as you can see, there's an orange color. So that's our drawer. Okay, and then you can also see here the ID number. So how do you use the ID number? So let's say for this one, it's 108244. So I'm going to close this interference report. And then I'm going to search for 108244. So to search that ID, 108244, so I go to manage and then look for inquiry. So you look for select by ID. So you type here. 108244 and then you can select here show there you go show again there you go show again all right okay so one thing that you can do here is okay so i'm going to select here okay and this is our object right so it's selected so what you can do if you want to separate this uh, model you can go to the uh, view tab and then look for selection box. So you click the selection box and then it will separate that model. So it's now separated. There you go. Okay. So that's our model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going back again to my collaborate and then uh, interference check, show last report. So I'm going to export this model. Okay. So I'm going to export this. Uh, interference report so aside from show so there's also here export now if ever you fix a clash or interference in your model you can select refresh and that particular clash or interference will be removed from this report so that's the purpose of the refresh okay it updates interferences listed okay so let us export this one so i'm going to select export so I'm going to save that to my uh, documents. Okay, so you can specify the name here of your report. So let's say I'll just use this one, check and fix interference condition. So I'll just save it. So the extension file of that is HTML. So I'm going to select OK. And then after that, I'm going to close this report. And then I'll open that document. Okay, so I'm going to open. So here's the one. Uh, this one. So I'm going to double click that. And it's now here on my model here. This one. Okay, so these are the clashes. Okay, so as you can see, there's your A side and then the B side. So you have here your categories along with their ID as well. So you can select it individually okay right so let me just close that one okay now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to open again the interference tool okay so i'm going to run again so i'm going to select this and again uh, and then i'm going to select run interference check so i click this one so here on the left side i'm going to make it specific so i'm going to select the the casework and then the doors then on the right side, I want to check the casework as well. And then the doors, what else? Floors and walls. All right. And then after that, let's select your OK to create another interference checking or to do another interference checking. Again, so these are the clashes. So by the way, you can specify here the group. You can change the group. So it says here category 1 and then category 2. And then you can make that category 2 and then category 1. So it shows like this. Alright. So now I'm going to select, let's say, my casework again. I click this. So there's a show again here. Show. So there's our model. So it's highlighted. It's uh, orange. So that's our model. Okay, you can also select that uh, by uh, you can also change the view again by selecting show. So there's our 
view okay and then you can click the other one here so as you can see there's an there's our model here okay so this one and then this one here they are overlapping so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to escape click this and then i'm going to click this one as well hold control to select both then after that so i'm going to select selection box there you go so these are the two clashes so they are overlapping right so what i'm gonna do is for the sake of this exercise i'm just going to fix it so let's say i'll just remove this one first so i'll select that and delete and then i'm gonna click this select the right side here and then i'll just move it so basically there are no clashes now between this cabinet and then this cabinet so let us now refresh okay so let's refresh so let's click refresh this one should be disappear after we select refresh there you go so it's now disappeared because there's no more clash here so basically that's how you use your interference report again you can use this to all discipline in our uh, project so you can do this in uh, MEP versus structure or structure versus architecture or MEP versus your architecture okay so it's up to you so this is how you check the clashes in your project or interferences in your project in Revit okay you don't need to go to any software okay you can do the clash detection here in uh, Revit okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day